So, dear colleagues, good morning. Welcome to the Luis Cesar Cova Award. Luis Cesar Cova was born in 1937 in Rio de Janeiro. He graduated in medicine in 1960 from the National Faculty of Medicine of the Universidade do Brasil, which is now the Universidade Federal do Rio de Janeiro. He specialized in endocrinology at the Pontificia Universidade Católica in Rio de Janeiro and did his PhD at the Universidade Federal do Rio de Janeiro. As we all know, he developed a brilliant career, becoming full professor at the University Federal do Rio de Janeiro and also emeritus professor at the Pontificia Universidade Católica in the same city. He was director of the IED, Instituto Estadual de Diabetes and Endocrinologia Luis Caprilloni, for 15 years, and consultant for the National Council for Scientific and Technological Development, CNPq. In the Brazilian Society of Endocrinology and Metabolism, Spain, he held numerous positions, regionally and nationally, and contributed in an extraordinary way to maintain the history of our society, which was one of his passions that he cultivated in his professional life. He received several titles, honors, and awards, such as Dr. Honoris Causa of the University, University of Toledo, Spain, and the title of Chair Number 47 of the National Academy of Medicine in Brazil. Dr. Povoa left us eight years ago. The Luis Cesar Pova Award is the main award granted by Spain in recognition to a Brazilian or international endocrinologist for the contribution in a wide range of activities, including clinical practice, research, education, scientific contribution, professional training, and leadership in endocrinology and metabolism. I had the privilege of knowing Dr. Pova and sharing his love for endocrinology. And I also had the privilege of being the president of the SEBEIN 2014 in Curitiba, when the Luis Cesar Pova Award was created and granted for the first time. This is the fourth time that the most prestigious award of our society is granted. The previous recipients were Professors Len Bartowski, Bernardo Leo Wachenberg, and Ayrton Custódio Moreira. Today, I have the pleasure and honor to introduce to you, on behalf of the Board of Directors of Spain and the Executive and Scientific Committee of the Spain 2020, the recipient of the Luis Cesar Cova Award 2020, Professor Art Jan van der Lely. Professor van der Lely is the head of the Division of Endocrinology and Professor of Endocrinology at the Erasmus University Medical Center in Rotterdam, the Netherlands, where he graduated in medicine, did his training in internal medicine and endocrinology, and present his PhD thesis. He also serves as vice president of the Department of Internal Medicine of the same institution. Professor Van der Lely leads a research team that's mainly dedicated to the study of pituitary diseases and the role of gastrointestinal hormones in health and disease. Among his scientific contributions, we can highlight this, his pioneering and continuous research in the medical therapy for acromegaly, with somatostatin analogs and with the growth hormone receptor antagonist Pegvisoman, and his studies about ghrelin and its implications in glucose homeostasis, obesity, cancer, and eating disorders. More recently, Professor van der Lely has become very interested in the role of metabolic disorders in cancer development. 
He has published over 250 articles in the highest ranking journals, which have been cited more than 24,000 times in the literature, granted to him an age index of 78. He was scientific advisor and co-founder of Alize Pharma in Lyon, France, which is now Milendo Therapeutics. He was president of the Dutch Endocrine Society, secretary of the endocrinology section of the European Union of Medical Specialists, UNMS, and currently he is serving as president of the Pituitary Society. Professor Van Lely serves or has served on the editorial boards of several scientific journals, including Current Opinion and Endocrine and Metabolic Research, Clinical Endocrinology, Journal of Endocrinology Investigation, Clinical Inve Interventions in Aging, Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism, Endocrinology and Nature Reviews in Endocrinology. He has been an outstanding leader of the European Society of Endocrinology, organization where he occupied many different positions, including as treasurer and president during four years between 2015 and 2019. And during his presidency, the ties between Spain and the European Society of Endocrinology were strengthened with the organization of joint workshops in our national meetings in 2014, 2016, 2018, participation of Brazilian endocrinologists in scientific activities of the European Society of Endocrinology, and promotion of Brazilian endocrinology in Europe, and vice versa. Well, now that Professor van der Lely has been formally introduced to you, I will leave formality aside a little bit to present to you other characteristics of our, our D, who really prefers to be called just by the first le letters of his name, AJ. As you can see in these pictures, AJ enjoys getting together with his friends, drinking, eating, although sometimes he seems to prefer food not fully recommend by endocrinologists, as you can see. But that's okay, because what really matters is the pleasure of enjoying his company, his intelligence, and his great sense of humor. So it's not a surprise that AJ has built a large list of Brazilian friends and funds over the years, especially in the multiple times he has visited us in different cities of Brazil, due to his charismatic and involving personality. I'm very pleased in being part of this list. Quite frankly, I don't remember when we first met, but certainly our faces in these photos reveal that it has been a while. At least it was in a time in the past when our common friend, Walter Den Heder, in this picture, still had hair as we see. Well, between these old pictures and this one taken yesterday here in Brasilia, I have had the privilege of enjoying many memorable, memorable meetings with AJ in many nice places, and I could stay hours here in front of you remembering good moments and funny stories. But time is short, and then I just refer to an Irish proverb to express what our friendship means to me. A good friend is like a four-leaf clover, hard to find and lucky to have. So I'm very lucky and blessed in having AJ Van der Lely as my friend. And you know, AJ, now talk to you. These guys here in the pictures, the two others of our WhatsApp group, the four Curitibanos, John and Sebastian, plus Jens and Margaret, a small group of your friends that had the privilege to be with you last year when you, re you received the John Kopchick Distinguished Lecture Award in Ohio, United States. They also have the same feelings as I and are commemorating virtually 
in the other side of the screen, in their homes, this new achievement in our career, AJ. These pictures show the moment when AJ received the letter from Spain, in the right here, my right. By the hands of Sebastian Eggers, his great friend, who prepared a very nice surprise to AJ during one of their clinical meetings in Erasmus Medical Center last year in Rotterdam. So, AJ, on behalf of the Brazilian Society of Endocrinology and Metabolism, is Ben. I congratulate you for invaluable contribution in clinical practice, education, research, professional training, and leadership in our field. And I thank you for everything you have done to build bridges for uniting the global endocrine community. So I'd like to call to the stage our president, Dr. Rodrigo Moreira, to grant to Professor Art Jan van der Lely the Luis Cesar Povo Award 2020. Good morning to everyone. Uh, it's a great pleasure and a great honor to be here in the ceremony this morning. Uh, Dr. Luis Cesar Pova was uh, one of my mentors and was responsible for teaching me about medicine and about endocrinology. And I'm sure that he would be really glad to see Professor Art van der Lely receiving this award because I know that he represents everything that Dr. Pavo believed was important in a professor, an endocrinologist, and a physician. So it's a great honor for me to invite Dr. Arte Bonavari to come to the stage and receive the 2020 Lisa Award. soothe my voice a bit. So, excuse me. I've had a few introductions in my life, but this is by far the most um, conflicting one, so to speak, because it's so flattering that uh, I'm almost stunned. Before I left uh, last Monday, I was not so much afraid of SARS, much more of the sentiments around soccer, because you as a nation and me as a nation, we love soccer. And therefore, I had to find out what the score is between Brazil and the Netherlands when it comes down to soccer. Well, it's equal. You won four times, we won four times, and it was a draw four times as well. So we really look forward to the next one somewhere in the World Cup, I hope, when you qualify, or we qualify, but because the letter is not that sure. Uh, because of privacy issues in the Netherlands, I had to hide the identity of my major contact and very good friend in Brazil, who turned out to be one of the most important international ambassadors promoting the high quality of endocrinology in Brazil. And I, can tell you, he shows up in so many pictures that I have from the past. For instance, the one in 2009, where we visited his, his lab in Curitiba and had a great time together with John Kopchik, as he said, the inventor of the Jetroceptor antagonist Bacvisement. We had a social trip there as well. We were, uh, we were inundated in, uh, in the normal life of uh, Curitiba with cigars and beer and a lot of hospitality. Later we went back to Curitiba and we had a great free congress meeting there and you have a beautiful country. This is for sure not a picture that has been taken in the Netherlands 
is we don't have this scenery. Uh, we were at the sea number 16 as a representative of the European Society. I was very lucky to be invited to that one. And later on in 18 as well.